Hey everyone, welcome back to Deus Ex. Mankind United. Oops. Oh, what the fuck? I jumped out of fucking car! Holy shit! Sorry! What the fuck? Oh no, get me up there. Oh my god, fucking jumping hogs, piece of shit. What an excellent way to start an episode. Alright. Alright, I'm not jumping on that anymore. Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. Just get to the lab, and you'll see. Like, like you bump into cars in this game, and they fucking open fire on you. What is this? The fucking Czech Republic, Czechia, or is this fucking America, dude? It feels like more like America every day. Yeah, so we gotta go talk to her boss. Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Arya. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. Oh, dude, I'm gonna check that out, too. Hey, boss. How's it, how's it hanging? You better have a good reason for digging around in Max Dubai investigation. I thought we'd agreed that... Ark is being set up. Someone wants us looking the other way, chasing the obvious target while they prepare their next attack. What? What are you talking about? Come on, Miller, it's too neat. You know as well as I do that Ark didn't hit us in Dubai. Is that so? Who's this someone then, huh? More blank pages? More ghosts? Like the ones you say took out Rucker? I don't know who they are, not yet. But I know where they are. I've traced them to an old bell tower facility in the Swiss Alps. Bell tower? They're just a bad memory. All their assets were sold off more than a year ago. And I'm sure if we look closely at some of the buyers, we'd be staring at a tangle of untraceable shell companies. You're throwing a lot of assumptions around here. What we need is evidence, Jensen. I told you. Did you even meet with Fletcher? Did you look into the evidence you found at the train station like you said you would? It was a dead end, just like Rucker. Look, the people orchestrating these attacks don't make mistakes. Whatever evidence there is to find, it's there because they want us to find it, to keep us off their trail. You need to start trusting me here. By allowing you to pursue your own agenda? I don't think so, Agent. This bell tower facility. How the hell did you find it? Does it matter? TF-29 was formed to cut through the bullshit, to react quickly and effectively as soon as even a hint of a threat is identified. We have to check out this facility, even if we're just ruling it out. You need to... Cutting through the bullshit is one thing, but there are still protocols to follow. There's still a command to respect, so don't tell me how to do my job. I'm done wasting time here. Every second you spend chasing ghosts, the people we're after slip deeper into the shadows. Go back to the office and hand over everything you've found to McCready. He'll check into it. Hang on a sec, Chief. What if me and the Swiss Army Knife here did a little recon? Unofficially. You back Jensen's claims, Chicane? I'm not saying I'm committed to them, but if there's something there, it'd be the first time we're ahead of the bad guys. And if not, it's just government fuel. Fine. But it's a recon-only mission. If you find anything, you observe and you document. And then we send in Mac and the strike team. Agreed? Agreed. Then get out of here, both of you, before I change my mind. Hope I don't regret hanging my ass out for you. Thanks for stepping in like that. I owe you one. You don't owe me nothing. I just hope you're right. You ready to go? I'm curious. You stepping in to convince Miller to greenlight this mission. Why'd you do it? 
You mean because we aren't exactly pals, that it? Well, maybe dragging your ass out of Gollum gave me a taste of something I hadn't had in a long time. Getting sick of flying limousine service. I might be wrong, you know, there could be nothing there. Uh, you don't believe that. But if you are wrong, well, at least the view will be pretty. What do you say we go far now? When we first talked, you told me that your limp kept you honest. That's an interesting way of looking at an injury. Your preamble's as thin as soup, man. Don't dance around it, just ask it. I'm only curious. We've all got a story. No, that's not it. What you really want to know is, do I hate him? The man that tore out my knee? His name was Lachlan Beats. He was a laborer. Worked in the mines up near Bendigo before everything went to hell. Beats was a family man who did what he thought he had to do in order to provide for his family. See, back then, nobody could compete with you Ogs when it came to manual labor jobs. So, he made a choice, if you can call it that. And his choice changed your life. You don't resent Beats for what happened? What I resent are the men who coaxed men like him to get augmentations. Men who enforced a system where the rich could buy artificial expertise without thinking about what it would cost all of us in the end. No, I don't resent him. At least not anymore. I was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Story of my life. So look, on that sunshiny note, what do you say we put some miles behind us? Well, we're not going yet. Not quite. Let me take care of some things first. You know where I'll be. Because we have to check out that fucking side mission first. And there's a point of interest now. Over here. Nothing. Okay. Thank God in this game there's no like sprinting ogs or some bullshit, you know? Cause that would be super fucking annoying, you know? Yeah, let's just make sure we don't bump into any cars and stop any alarms. They just look for any excuse to shoot fucking ogs. Any reason at all. I notice this game has a lot of running around. Like, it's very padded out. And that, that part I don't necessarily like. I don't know. I don't. There, I, obviously, the original Deus Ex game didn't have a lot of this, and then the Human Revolution had a little bit of this, and they just brought it to like a whole new extreme here. All right, guys, we're back here. All right, let's have a look around then. You are not a citizen. Wrong fucking line, hand. All right, well let's have a look. <laughs> I was in the wrong line because I'm just going up the wrong line. I don't even give a fuck. Fine. All right, we go. Oh wait. Hey, cool! I can actually just latch onto it at the bottom. Nice. Where are we going to here? Guess we're going this way. Oh, sweet, dude. He's got like a fucking cave entrance here. Which I think I saw the last time I was here. You go through your computer and stuff. I've been experiencing strange symptoms since my last visit with you. Okay. Medical shit going up. And Rucker's dead and stuff. Eh. Do you have any more things for me to steal? Eh. 
Things with Otar aren't going so well, Jensen. Sorry about your place, Kohler. Are you alright? Physically, yes. Emotionally, I... I just kind of... You know I actually had some real good books up there? The bookstore was kind of a front, sure, but it was my front. The version of me I presented to the world. That... That means something. It means whatever deal you thought you had with the Diwali's is apparently off. My deal. Right. There's something you're not telling me about why Otar's got it in for you. Maybe he is just angry, you know? He takes it out on me because... Because I'm prettier than he is. Or maybe he just really doesn't like books. It's possible, right? Look, let's just optimize that rig of yours, huh? You got the neuroplasticity calibrator for me or what? I know you may not want to talk about what happened to your store. I get where you're coming from, okay? But try to understand, Jensen. I'm a guy who likes to respect privacy. Especially if the other person is someone who can kill me. Which is real good for you, actually. It goes both ways. You're willing to ignore what happened? I am trying to protect myself. Maybe next time they don't just burn the store, huh? I rely on you, Kohler. And I'm willing to help if I can. I don't want to have to identify your remains next time I come in for a tune-up. Neither of us want that. But sometimes it's better to sweep the ashes under the rug. Now come on. Let's optimize that rig of yours. You can't hide forever. What are you gonna do when Otar comes back? What do you expect from me? I am tangled up with these people now. This is what I get for saying yes to Radich. But what choice did I have? What choice do I have now? Your choice is to tell me what the hell is going on. What does Otar want from you? He... He wants to know what I know about Radich. That Radich is... That Radich needs me. The way you need me, Jensen. You understand? Radich is augmented. The head of the Diwali man. If Otar finds this out, if any of the Diwali finds this out, they are not very open-minded about these things. Yeah, I get it, Kohler. So what are you gonna do? When augmented people ask for help, I help them. I continue to help Radich. This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please, tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. Okay, that's, that's it. I fixed that. 
confronting the bomb maker. Well, we didn't do that, obviously. Ah, so now nothing's disabled anymore. Uh, so how does this work? This focus enhancer. Uh, you have to. Uh, you have to. Wow, uh, you can. Ah, uh, you can shoot things out of midair. Fucking hell. We had that dermal thing here, so yeah, we do not have to worry about our system stability anymore. So we're right now just saving for, I guess, uh, probably this guy or the hacking. Maybe we'll get to do the hacking first instead of Icarus. More hacking software, some breach software. Oh, medical box. The bio cell. I have like fucking 17 bio cells and 15 hypo stim injectors. Nah, we're not allowed in there. What happens? If I, what's that? What happens if I just punch the character out? Like, does it matter? I don't know. I, I feel like I shouldn't do that. All right. Well, uh, actually, we are not leaving yet. We are going to point of interest, close to home. Oh, this guy's dead. What the fuck? I thought he was just sleeping when I passed by him. So sorry to hear about your eviction. Surgery behind my shop. Code 1984. Alright. Uh, like, there's just dead people everywhere. Just fuck. Uh, well, let's head over to uh, where they are. Game's loading a bunch of shit. We can't let them get away with this. tell us. Hello? Excuse me. Please. Did they send you to protect me? I must talk to you that's brutal. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk We can't let them get away with this. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You, you're not a cop, are you? I was a cop once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Oh, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if... I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? You might already be in danger. Killer might see you as a loose end. What? Might already be waiting to get you alone. Please, stop! The point I'm trying to make is, if you saw something, you should tell the police. The more you can remember, the better the odds of the killer getting caught. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? 
the first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Wait, she's the crazy cat lady. How come she talks to him and not to me? She's the crazy cat lady, though. Uh. Go on ahead. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. There's no reason this should be complicated. Someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an og or not has nothing to do with it. Uh, no favorites before the law, eh? Okay. But what if the law itself is prejudiced, eh? As an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be, for 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operator. Heavily augmented. Alright. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was gonna work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look. My orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, time to solve a mystery, guys. Alright, bruises on the neck are recent. Looks like the killer strangled her and left even a partial footprint. A uh, fingerprint. Make sure we don't miss anything. There are marks. On, on her arm, it looks like the augment was forcibly removed. Uh, this looks fucking awful, though. Needle. The broken needle was st sticking out of her right shoulder. Alright, the killer is obviously you! Doesn't mean I do. Maybe tomorrow. Optional exhaust all evidence. I don't know why I keep having to hover over this shit. Alright. Uh, oh, here we go. We have like all- we have a thing with all this stuff. Fucking data rod. I'll show you my data rod. Did see something, right? Keep it down. EMP fragment, alright. Oh, I see. Let's look around here. ID card. The uh, murderer's uh, murder victim's ID card. She was a reporter. Uh oh. I think he found something. Go on ahead and double back. Let's keep looking. Much more. We need a little bit more evidence. Could be right around the corner. Oh yeah, there's a fucking ventilation shaft up there. 
Fuck, no, don't get distracted, guys. We need to focus on the objective. Right, Joe. We don't miss anything. Hold it together. Uh. All right, stuff does appear. A pair of glasses. We got one more thing to find here in this area. Yeah, there's one more thing to find in this area. Go on ahead, and double back. I'm just looking around with my fucking augmentation shit. Added to database. Let this person live nearby. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Augment. A reptile augmentation. Whoever did this didn't seem... They didn't want to keep it for themselves. They just wanted to separate from the body. Ooh, what a guy. Okay, I think we... Have we done it all now? Yeah, okay. Let's talk to him. Enjoying yourself, detective. Uh... I guess what do you know? I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. What a guy. I have what I need for now. I should go. Don't forget to question Daria. I don't want to keep her here forever. All right. All right, crazy cat lady. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning, and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Fucking retarded. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To... Try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her. Cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say, exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Make us whole. It's fucking dead space. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Uh, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, 
They're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Alright. Alright. Eat together. Enjoying yourself, detective. Uh, I got something here. I have what so we have quite a quite a number of story items here. Quite a number of story items here. It's kind of time, man. I wish it would just like not do this. Uh, all right, where are we heading to now, then? All right, we have to go to Divini something. So might as well head over there. We got a murder mystery to solve, guys. It's important. Super duper important. And we are going to... There we go. There it is again, kind of just make you like, go around in circles. But obviously this person hated Og, so it might have been me who was the killer. I ne you never know. He, I, it fits it perfectly. Dark and or blue. No, couldn't see his face. It could have been me, guys. I don't know where I've been. It sounds like something I'd do. Holy shit, this loading screen. It just keeps going through these same, uh, these same, like, positions. The same camera angles, because they're just the pre-rendered things that it has. Wake up, get more done. Where's the life? Hey, what's up? What? What? Leave me alone. Oh, fine. Alright, well, let's have a look up here. Fucking hell, it lags. Uh, one sec. Then. Okay. I, I never know if it's gonna fuck up my recording during those sequences, so. Guess we'll see. Uh. Oh, hey, this is our apartment building. Hey, ventilation shaft. I think it's our apartment building. I've never been over here. Ah, oh, that's a quite a bit of interesting gear. Oh, I see. I see something up here. Uh, actually, I don't think I do. I got lied. Uh, I lied to you guys. Alright, never mind then. Actually, I have an augmentation sh shit for this stuff. Yeah, it look like there's anything up there. Why am I over here? I do not know. Where the fuck am I right now? I don't know why I'm here. Oh, I, wait, I've been here before. No, I haven't. Maybe I have. I don't know, a lot of these corridors look very similar, but I've looted this, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have been here, actually. Because I never realized there was a, uh, a drawer here. This is just going towards the uh, the tunnel there. We need to look at that crazy cat lady's apartment and look for evidence. Alright, well, it it brought us here, I think. Oh, it just wants us to go upstairs, I see. 
Actually, I don't think I've ever been here. I don't think this is, uh... I don't think this is my apartment, because mine, mine was nicer than this. And I press the swan. You know, this is... Actually, I, I have no fucking idea. Right, let me look at the map. Well, we can't really tell from this, so... Where are you going? Oh, Johnny Gunn! This guy. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? <laughs> fucking guy. Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah. So let's just say, let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I've gone up against them before. Seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well, guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of dead. Australia? You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but, uh... Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. Anyway, that was a long time ago. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. Doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? What I think doesn't matter yet. What matters are your answers. Make them clear and honest. Otherwise, you'll make things miserable for yourself. Miserable? <laughs> That's like offering me a promotion. A woman I used to love is dead, and a jackass I've never seen is here to accuse me of it. You can't make my life any worse than it is. Where were you? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. You've had a hard time adjusting to life after Bell Tower. No more than anyone else. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. You're right. Let's keep this about you. You inside a crowded cell, your face all over the news. How does that sound? Like a lot of hassle. No thanks. Angela's death inconveniences you. Yeah, well, it's been hard. Phone calls I don't want, and visitors I don't like or respect or want inside my home. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. Made me feel you. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Alright guys, it appears I lost my audio just for this last part. Uh, I muted my mic because I think my sister was talking to me outside my room, so... Um, she was asking me some stupid shit. And thus I muted my mic and I think I forgot to unmute it after this cutscene. So we're kind of just looting this guy's house. Uh, we're trying to figure out a clue to the fact of why he would 
He has a lot of fucking beer, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, sorry. I can't say fucking anymore. Whatever. You get to hear it anyways. But uh, we're kind of just looking around. And he keeps telling me I, I can't go in there. But I'm, I, yeah, I'm, the, I'm the police. So he doesn't get his TV privileges. That's what I do when I turn off the TV. I don't always like doing this post commentary. Well, obviously I'm having trouble finding it, but then I found it with my uh, wall hacks. So this uh, this medical referral form is referring to the fact that he's feeling things from his augments when he shouldn't be. Uh, it, I guess indicating the fact that maybe he's a crazy person. That's that's the gist of what I got. So I don't know how that's evidence for murder, but you know this this game is very odd in these kinds of things. That it it yeah like a, a bell tower augmented against uh, him against his will. So apparently he's got like PTSD or something. I guess I don't know. But apparently it's, it sounds compelling evidence. It's it counts as compelling evidence, so... Hey, what do you know? I, I I mean, I wouldn't fucking... I wouldn't consider that compelling evidence. Maybe I should ask his neighbors or something, but nope, that's that's good enough. But luckily he has lots of fucking rifle ammo and pistol ammo inside the... Uh, Quit screwing around. Inside his stuff, so let's take a look at his bathroom. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got, like, just pills. And... Dropazine. Useless neuropazine. I have like fucking ten of them at this point. Anyways, yeah, we're leaving. So this this apartment complex looks strangely similar to the one at like at where I live, the the one where Jensen lives. So I debate very heavily to myself if I want to go breaking through all this stuff, but I said fuck it. I kind of I kind of looked where I would have been living, and that doesn't look like my place. And so I'm like, yeah, no, this is not where I am normally. So. Anyways, that's the end of the episode here, guys. Uh, I'll try not to fuck up like this anymore, so... Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.